I've been using NA10 to automate my bookkeeping, the automation downloads invoices, bills and receipts from various sources, organizes them into folders so that I review them later and make a zip file and email to my accountant. This has been working flawlessly or so I thought until yesterday. Yesterday I realized that it was not downloading some of the files if the incoming invoices are more than some certain number, 15, because the API of the bookkeeping service I've been using has a limit, a page limit defined in the endpoint I've been using. And I was hitting that limit. So I had to implement pagination to iterate through different pages to download all of the incoming invoices. And I was about to do that, uh, but then it was so tedious to code something in a visual coding environment that it made me question my choice of using NA10. Is it good enough? Is it scalable? Is it suitable for my future needs? And I concluded the answer was no. Each time I solve a problem in my NA10 pipeline, I find myself inspecting not so helpful documentation, inspecting the little pieces of scripts I wrote in different parts in, in the pipeline uh, to understand how I was working with variables, how uh, NA10 was processing input and output, how was this like dollar signs and other uh, domain specific language it uses to extract information from previous nodes. Oh, I have to specify the node name, but what if the node is running more than one time? Like how to iterate so, so many tedious knowledge is included and I decided to code my own automation. I'm not building an alternative to NA10, but I want to make a custom tailored software that solves all of my problems and basically will be my own bookkeeping assistant or maybe even a generic digital assistant in the future. This way I could use my favorite programming language Kotlin and after setting up the basic structure, building a skeleton, then things like making minor tweaks in the code, updating some stuff would be just a few lines of code change. It won't be tedious. NA10 was really easy to start with, but as the business logic became more complex, the challenges of a visual scripting environment with some domain specific a kind of language slowed me down. Now, for my automation, I needed to find a name and I settled on the name Watson, as in Sherlock Holmes and Dr. Watson. Having decided against the graphical user interface, I did a quick search and found a great CLI framework, Pico CLI. With Pico CLI, you can use annotations to mark your classes as callable and define parameters and options you want to pass. It has many other cool features, but I'll let you discover those. Now I started thinking about networking. How, how should I make networking? And then I immediately remembered Ktor. Ktor can act as a server and a client making it perfect for both sides of networking tasks. I'll use the server function to complete OAuth 2 flows and it'll come handy if I decide to use open banking APIs in the future to, I don't know, download a receipt or such or even make a payment. And after all this planning, I built the first version of Watson. Right now, it can only echo back what I input to it. It also validates the params I, I send and can display a help message uh, and show errors and whatever. Uh, this, these are all uh, out of Pico CLI.
that was it don't forget to subscribe to see in the next video in the series how watson becomes a fully functioning personal assistant until then goodbye